Faceting is a technique where you cut away part of your pot on the wheel. You can fast it and then let it get leather hard and trim it. Come on. Hi, this is my dog Rufus. Or you can fast it and then kind of alter it again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to facet it and then I'm going to throw a little more. Um, when you throw a pot for faceting, you want to make sure that the the walls and the lip are thicker. They're about they're probably about the thickness of my ring finger. So you want your pots to be thicker because you're actually going to be cutting some off. All right. To facet, you can. They actually have faceting tools. It's like a a wire cutter. It almost looks like a a cheese cutter. Or I, I just use a regular wire cutter. But to facet, you are going to cut part of it away. And you can get different techniques depending on how you facet. Isn't that cool? I like to give mine a little bit of texture. And that happens takes practice, like everything. Quiet. But you can see why you want to throw your pot a little bit thicker, because you're cutting that much off. your way all the way around. I'm trying not to go too deep. Hold that wire cutter tight. So now that the piece is faceted, I'm going to come on the inside, I'm going to smooth out that lip a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I want to see how it happens. I'm pushing from the inside out. You should smooth out your lip. Ah, that's what I thought was going to happen. It kind of expands the faceting a little bit. It's a nice texture. Pieces that are faceted most likely will not have a foot trimmed on them. So when I'm done here, I am going to take just a little bit of that. There, clean it up a little bit on the bottom. If you don't like some of the textures you can smooth them out or when they're leather hard um, you can kind of wipe them down too but that's faceting using the wire cutter to cut different lines and shapes and textures oh, it looks pretty good faceting throw your faceting pieces. Um, I do expect you to trim the bottom of the piece, but I don't expect you to put a foot on it. So when it is leather hard, make sure to tip it upside down on a wheel, center it up, and then just take a ribbon tool 
and really erase or I'll pull out some of that inside so it doesn't wobble. I already have mine centered up. So you just want a, an outside edge that your pot will sit on. Sometimes it's a fun trick with such a big foot to do a little spiral on the inside. So if you take the corner of your trimming tool, really slowly push in and just pull out your name on your piece make sure to sponge around the lip and that is your faceted piece with a little spiral at the bottom